Hello everyone, this is Matt from Introda Interactive and today I'm going to show you how to do more advanced texture editing using a PBR texturing program. I'm not going to show you how to use the program as there's already tons of tutorial on YouTube on how to use those, but I'm going to show you what you'll need to start editing those textures, how to import your texture in engine and how to create your material for it. I'm also going to cover how to set up the script to create a new items with your new material so you can use it in game. So the first step will be to unsplit the DDS file so you can have a texture you can edit. If you've watched my first tutorial on simple texture editing, I already showed you how to unsplit DDS file using the Star Citizen tools to get a texture you can open up in Photoshop. The issue is the program doesn't work for normal map, which is going to be needed for more advanced texture editing. So our first step will be to properly unsplit it. To do that, you will need two programs that I'm going to show you right now. First, you will need um, H H HXDay, which is a uh, X editor. Uh, this will allow us to get unsplitted DDS file, which cannot be edited in Photoshop. And then you're going to need Noesis, which is going to allow us to convert the DDS file to a texture file that we can edit in Photoshop. So the first step will be to grab our DDS file and then open it up into the X editor, change a few values to export a DDS that we can open up in Noesis. So let's start by navigating to your modding folder so we can grab the uh, DDS files. Mine is modding, CryEngine, SDK. And today I'm going to show you how to edit the web the texture of a weapon. So let's go grab weapon we're going to work with. Weapons. Let's go with the uh, AK74U. And then what you want to grab is you want to grab the um since you want to open it up in Photoshop, we're not going to need the gloss map. We're only going to need uh, the um, normal map. So what you need is to grab the DDS, the DDS file, the first one, and you need to grab the IS number of the stack, which is seven. Those are the only files you're going to need. So let's copy those into a new folder for now. Let's call it. Uh, AK74U. And let's um, okay, let's copy that over. There we go. Now that we have our DDS files, all we need to do is to open up the X editor. Go to file, open, navigate to your modding folder. So modding. AK74U, and there they are. Load both of them. Now you can see that I have both um, DDS loaded, the DDS and the DDS.7. First thing you want to do is you want to go to your DDS.7 and you want to select everything. So just click somewhere and Control A. And then you want to copy it. So Control C. Now what you want to do is to move back to your DDS file, the normal one. And then um, you need to select everything starting at offset 94. So to do that, you just need to go to search, go to offset 94. Make sure that X is activated from the beginning. Click OK. This is it. So you want to select everything from that point and then past what you had copied. You just have to click OK for that. And there you go. All right. And now all you need to do is to save the file. And you want to save it as the DDS file. Just rename it as AK74U uh, on split underscore DDNA. Save. Now, as I said, you cannot open this file in Photoshop. You will need to 
open it up in noises first. So let's just do that for now. Noises, open it up. And now you want to go to File, Open File, go to your modding folder, and open up the unsplit DDNA. Boom. Now you can see the normal map loaded to the right. It looks perfect so far. So the next step will be to save this as a uh, TGA. I think you can only save it as a TGA. I'm not quite sure if there's a TIFF. But what you, knew, what you want to do is to click on File, Export. Let me check if there's a TIFF. There's no TIFF, so go with TGA in that case. And select your folder. You get the same name since you are saving it to a TGA. And just click Export. Now that we uh, have our texture exported, it's time to load it up in Photoshop. So let's go into Photoshop, go to File, Open. Let's find our uh, TGA. This is the one. And there we go. Now uh, you can see I've loaded uh, the uh, AK74U DDNA, the normal map that we use in the game right now. And you can see that both texture are different. That's because uh, the program somehow mixed the red and green channels. So if you go there and uh, go into your channel tab, you can see uh, the RGB red, green, blue. Uh, the red is in fact the green channel and the green is in fact the red channel. So we will need to swap both channel to get the same result as the one right there. So let's go back to uh, our channel and let's copy the red channel. Control A to select all, Control C to copy. Now Control V to paste it, paste it. And so this is the red channel, which is the green channel. So let's call it green so we don't end up mixing those. Go back to your channel. Uh, hold on. There we go. Go back to your channel. Now copy the green. Select all, Control A, Control C to copy. Now go back to your layers and then just paste it. Let's call it red. That's it. Now I've, I've extracted the green and the red channel. I need to unmix those in my uh, normal map. So let's grab the green channel and paste it into the green. Oh, sorry. I made a mistake. Select all. Copy. Paste. That's it. Now grab the red channel, select all, copy, Oop. and channel, red, paste. Boom. Now if I compare both texture, you can see that exactly the same thing. So I can close the uh, first DDNA. And the last step will be to invert the green channel because when you import a texture inside of CryEngine, um, it requires the normal map to be inverted, the green channel to be inverted. And since we are going to edit that texture into a quick set or substance, you want it to be to have the right orientation. So you want to go to your green channel and just press Control I. Boom. Now your channel is uh, now your texture has the right orientation and is ready to be edited. The next step will be to go into CryEngine and to export the model you want to work on because you will need the model to display the texture on into your uh, texture tool. So let's do that. Close it up. Oop, go back to CryEngine. And now you want to drop the model that you're working on into the scene. So just go to Brush and type the model that you want. Mine is the AK74U. Grab this one, drag and drop. There it is. And then you want to go to File, Export Selected Object, and just export it as FBX into your modern folder. So just select FBX, go to your 
folder. And there it is. And let's just replace the one I exported to test. And untick copy the extra into folder because you don't need the texture anyway. And just click OK. Now the next step will be to go into Max. So let's just close this. Go into Max, load a new scene, and then go to Import and load your FBX. Okay, and there it is. So now all you need to do is to move this in the middle of your scene, at the center of your scene. To do that, there's these uh, value here, the X, Y, and Z value. Just select one, press zero. Go to the Y, press zero. And go to the C, Z, and press zero. Then just press Z on your keyboard to center the object in your scene. Now let's make this material a um, basic gray material, any. Convert that to edit poly. And now there's a few things to do on the weapon because the way CryEngine work is it's going to split everything, every vertex are going to be splitted. Like right now I just selected an element which is going to be, which is supposed, I mean, to select the whole thing, but it's only select one face and if I move it I see that it's detached which is not supposed to be. So first thing will be to go to your vertex, select everything, go to weld, click on setting and then um, simply bring your uh, weld setting to zero and then click on the up arrow once and that's it. Now your uh, object is supposed to be uh, it's supposed to be split, not split, but it's supposed to be merged together now. So if I click on an element, you can see that it selected the whole thing, while before it did not. But there's still a few things that can happen. If I move my thing, you can see that, oh, it took something. It took a part of this object and attached it to my model, which is not supposed to be. So let's fix that quickly. If I move this one, I can see that there's something attached to it. If I move this thing, there's something attached to it. So let's just go ahead and detach this model. Click on detach. And if I move it now, you can see that it's perfect. Let's do that for the frame. If I move it, I can see that there's still something weird attached to it. Click on detach. Click OK. Now let's go to this one, detach, okay. And I think this one and this one, it seems to be okay now. Let's make sure that nothing else is merged when it shall not. Just moving a few things quickly. Everything seems fine. Oh, this one, ETH. There we go. And I think the rest is pretty much good to go. Oh, no, nope, this one, ETH. Now, every single element that you have ETHed, so let's just hide the uh the the, the uh, element that you haven't touched I'll right click hide selected and now we're going to remerge the vertex by element so just click on one element select all the vertices click on weld whoop i think i clicked next to it now oh, you see it worked but this one is done hide selection now let's do this one, weld, this one seems to be pretty good as well, eye selection,
some of them might not need to be rewelded. The first one uh, needed it. Those one, it didn't do anything. I'm just making sure that uh, there's not two vertex on top of each other. Hide. And this one. Weld. Seems good. Now, right click on your scene, unhide all, and let's select the other one, isolate selection. And this one, we're just going to do it. Uh, just select the whole thing, weld, bring it down, click once, done. Seems to be all good. Now you want to unhide everything and reattach the whole thing together. So just go to attach, attach and just click on the element that you add plated if you're not sure just move it and it seems to be good now you want to fix the uh, smoothing group of your object you can see there is some kind of weird sheeting happening happening there but it's supposed to be a flat surface uh, in order to do that you simply have to download a script called uv to smoothing group just uh, download that and install that and just click on run and collapse all and this is it there it is the AK74U the object that you're going I'm going to retexture now I'm missing one thing, which is the uh, magazine. But for the magazine, it's the same process. You just go into the editor, brush, and you go to uh, Azure Slab AK74U. There you go, magazine. That's the right one. And you're just going to export it the same way you just exported it, and you're going to tweak it. The same way you're going to tweak it you have the bullets with it and everything so now all you need to do is to export this model or selected as an obj yep not that this one go to your modding folder modding ak74 u and let's call it something like AK74U final at OBJ. Once you save it as an OBJ, you want to take normal and smoothing group. So it exports the normal orientation and smoothing group. And that's pretty much it. In the preset, I always select ZBrush for uh, the export. So if you want to do that, then just click export. And this is it. So the model is not exported and is ready to be previewed in your um, texture tool. So the next step for you will be to download um, Substance Painter or Quixel Suit, and you want to load your normal map into it. You want to load your uh, assets to it. You, you can just go into YouTube and watch tutorial on how to use those tools. They're going to tell you exactly what you need, how to generate a color map, how to uh, load up everything, and how to texture everything properly. I'm not going to show you guys how to do that because it's a extremely long to do, and there's a lot of tutorial already available for you. So my next step will be to show you the final result uh, after your properly retexture a model so i'm just going to do that right now and uh, launch quick sell and i'll be back in a second and we're back as you can see i have my uh, quick sell project loaded this is something i worked on last weekend because i wanted to show you guys how in depth you can go with only texture editing and that you can create something uh, really unique without having to create and animate a new model from scratch. The uh, only program I used to achieve this level of silliness was Photoshop and Quixel Suit. It's inspired by a model I found searching Google image for a weapon skin idea. Uh, you can achieve the same result using Substance Suit, the Substance Painter, I mean, 
And yep, as you can see, it's a uh, ready to be imported in game. Um, I've spent the whole weekend working on the shader, working on the chocolate part, and you know, the, the top kind of I don't know a word to 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 call that that top part. Uh, there's candy uh, embedded into the chocolate, candy canes, and uh, yep cookie, chocolates, and everything. Everything's there. And the good thing is I don't need to animate this weapon. I don't need to create a new reload animation for it. I don't need to uh, to uh, skin it. All I need to do is to import that as a uh, texture and load it into the engine. And then I'll be able to, uh, once the item file is created, the, the script file is created, I'll be able to use it straight away. You can see if you want to see a more first person view of the weapon, this is pretty much how it's going to look like in game once you hold it. So, yep, I'm going to show you the uh, project file into Photoshop. Quicksell is a basically just an add on for Photoshop. So, you all you do your work into Photoshop for the most part. So this is my diffuse texture. As you can see, just basic color. Uh, this is a picture of a uh, waffle uh, kind of cookie thing. Um, I just took the picture, made it tileable, and then used it as uh, the base material. And then, as you can see, chocolate and everything is just basically a brown color. There's no details there. There's nothing. It's really just color information. Uh, the details comes from the normal map and the glass map. Let's go to the glass map. Well, not really the glass map. The glass map has no real details on it. It's simply values that tells the uh, engine how glossy a material is going to be, how re reflect, not reflective, how glossy, um, that, that kind of uh, wetness effect to it. So those values had to be guessed uh, to uh, for the chocolate since I did not know the proper value so I just tweaked the glass value until uh, it became uh, correct and then spec map there's nothing more, much to show inside it it's basically just one big value so I'm probably not going to export the spec map in engine I can just go ahead with one value and then the normal map which is where most of the work happen so as you can see, the waffle texture being converted to a normal map using NDO right there. This program can pretty much convert everything to a normal map, and then you can use that to overlay it over your model. And then the chocolate part that was drawn and you know converted to a normal map. There's various level of um, details on it. So this is really where the details coming from. It's from the normal map. Then I had to uh, embed the, the, the candy into the chocolate and everything. Then uh, yeah, you can see the stock air that I had to uh, make some kind of uh, wrapping of chocolate around it. This part right there. That's where. That's what you're looking at. With chocolate dripping from the top. And yep, that's pretty much it. So this is uh, what I'm going to import in Engine right now. So let's uh, start doing that. First, I'm going to go into my Diffuse, and I'm going to export my Diffuse. File, Save As. I need to save it as a Crytif. And I need to save it to the right folder. I already have my folder created for that. So um, but that's going to be the same thing on your folder, on your model folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and go into this created. Game is the key. Object. Char uh, not character, sorry. Weapon. And then AK74U. Texture. And that's where I'm going to save it. So if. So you need to match those kind of settings. Uh, not, not those kind of things, but that, those kind of uh, folder structure if you want to do it properly. So I'm just going to call it um, AK74U underscore 
uh, Candyland. Whoop. Uh, and let's all make it uh, lower, lower case, since that's already what's in there. Candyland underscore diff for the diffuse. Save. Now this one is a 4K texture. Uh, for preview purpose, I'm just going to leave it at 4K, but normally I would probably just lower it to uh, 2K. But I want to uh, see it at its best. Well, never mind. Let's just go ahead and 2K. We'll see how it looks in engine. As an albedo, there's no alpha channel. There we go. Now let's go into the glass map. Glass map is a little bit more tricky since it needs to be stored into the normal map uh, alpha channel. So let's just flatten the wall image. Yes. Select all by Control A, Control C. Now you want to revert your merge that you did. So just Control Z until um, that's it. There we go. I'm just going to paste the wall glass map in there to keep it. And then I'm going to go into my normal map. Now, same thing for the normal map. I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, hold on. I'm just going to, uh, past my glass map there. I'm going to flatten the whole thing. Select all, control C. Now I'm going to revert my change to unflatten the image, basically. I'm going to copy my normal map there. So this normal map is the one I'm going to export. I'm going to copy my glass map into my alpha channel. There we go. And you need to invert the green channel. So select the green channel, contour, I, and that's it. Now it's ready to be exported into CryEngine. Oh, the Crytif. Go back where my. Mm, I try to find. The, that's not in quick access, I think. Ooh, storage. Uh, nope. There we go. Let's read that. Game is the K. Whoops. Object. Weapons. AK74 U texture and then AK74 U Candyland DDNA. The normal map needs to be named DDNA. Now you save. There we go. Now make it the 248. And now there's two settings that you can go with. There's normal with smoothness or normal with smoothness legacy. Uh, from what I've seen, normal with smoothness will give you a more glossy result, while normal with smoothness legacy will be closer to uh, your uh, viewport result inside of Quixel or Substance. So I'm just going to go with smoothness legacy there. Um, now that my texture are exported, it's time to go back into the engine and preview the whole thing. So I'm just going to fire up the engine and I'll be back. All right. So first thing to do is to drop your weapon into uh, your viewport. Let's go to brush, type the weapon you want to look for, AK-74U in my case, drag and drop it in the viewport. Now, in order to preview the weapon a little bit better, uh, will be to scale it. So I'm just going to go ahead and scale it. That way I can get closer to the weapons uh, without having the uh, camera clipping through it. Well, let me just get, there we go. Now, onto the material part. Just press M to open up the material editor. There it is. I'm just going to look for AK-74U. 
there it is. Now you can see all those uh, material variation, uh, which are skins or uh, the normal weapon. And I'm going to um, create a new variation. So let's start by duplicating the AK-74U material. Again, one you, once you duplicate the material, it's going to create uh, the new material into your the right folder where it should be. And it's going to create all of those folders as it needs to. So just click on rename and rename your material uh, to something you want. So AK-74U underscore Candyland. And that's it. Save it. Here's my new material. Now, um, while having your model selected, just right click on your material, async to selected object, and it is now selected, assigned to it, I mean. Now, if I go click on guns, on the gun uh, sub material, I can just uh, go ahead and uh, load my texture. So I'm just going to click on the three dot and look for my texture, which is right there. Candyland.diff underscore diff. Open it up. And now um, this is normal. The texture are compiling. Uh, so the engine is creating the DDS file on the fly and loading it up after that. Uh, you can see that it's extremely bright right now. And that's normal. I will just need to re-export my diffuse with um, proper color setting. Let's just do that right now. Go back to my albedo, and you can see that um, I already had a, a level layer on top because I was ready to do that. I just forgot to do it before exporting it. I'm just going to delete it. Uh, what I do is I click on level right there. It's adding a level layer, and I'm going to uh, lower it to about 150. Should be pretty good. Now I'm going to save it as a criteria and I'll need to go back to uh, my miscreated folder create it game is VK object weapon AK 74u texture and there it is just replace it setting are fine click OK and you should see some you should see uh, a better result after that in a bit that's way that's way better it's not perfect but that's way better now let's load our normal map for now so i'm just going to uh go click on the tree dot load my normal map click open now the engine is generating uh, the DDS for it, um, but it's not going to work unless we um, restart the engine. So I'm just going to uh, save my level, save my material as well, and I'll pause the video and I'll be back once my uh, engine is reloaded. All right. Now you can see that I've done a little bit of work. Uh, I finished. Um, tweaking my diffuse texture so it shows uh, the same result as I had in Photoshop. I also created a new material for the magazine. Basically, I, the only thing I did was just duplicating uh, the existing, existing magazine, renamed it to uh, a proper name. Then I just went ahead and copied uh, my uh, weapon, so the EK74U Candyland. I just went to the uh, Submat 2. Copy all, and I pasted that into the uh, uh, sub ID2 of the magazine. So I got the same result. And now I'm pretty much uh, ready to create the item file. I've, uh, I already um, dropped the uh, ground model of the magazines and the weapon in my viewport. And now I'm just going to go fetch uh, the XML that I need. Let's do that. So you'll need to go into your modding folder, game SDK. There you'll have all your script, uh, well, not your script, but your pack file. You want to open up the script pack file. Mine is already unpacked, so I'm just going to go ahead and open up my script folder. 
And inside of the pack file, you want to go to entities. You want to go to items, XML, weapons, and there it is. So this is all the weapons that we have in the game right now. Uh, what you want to do is you want to extract the weapon you're working on. Uh, mine was a K74U. I don't need to extract it since everything is already unpacked. But what you want to do is to just uh, grab the weapon you're working on, drop it somewhere else, sure, drop it into your modding folder, or move it afterward to your modding folder. It's important that you drop it into script, entity, items, XML, and the weapon subfolder. So whatever you do, once you're done tweaking your material, it needs to go there. So if you don't have those folder created, just go ahead and create those folder and place your XMLs inside of it. Uh, I've already uh, duplicated mine and I already uh, tweaked the name. So let's go ahead and edit it with Notepad. Now I just need to match um, my XML name. So AK74U, Candy, Land. Now for the description, I just go ahead and input something city, I guess. Um, this uh, weapon will look tasty. Dot, dot, dot. And now what you want to do is to, you want to add the material line to it. So on the on-ground model, you have the uh, TGF that's loaded, which is the geometry. And now you want to load uh, the proper material. So material equal, oh, now I'm trying to find the, uh, I'm just going to uh, copy that. Yeah. Boom. And then I'm just going to write uh, the name of my material, which is, mm, let me verify. Not the magazine, I need the weapon. Underscore Candyland. Good. AK74U underscore Candyland. And now, all I need to do is to add this small bit to the end of it. And there you go. Now I can go ahead and save this. Let's try to reload script. Sometimes it works and we don't need to reload the editor. And if it doesn't, then I'll need to restart the editor. Go into entity, reload that. AK74EU. As you can see, I don't see my new item, item file there. So I need to uh, restart the editor. So I'll be back in a second. And I'm back again. Now let's see if our uh, entity shows up. Need to type in the, nom the name of the entity, AK74U, Candyland, there it is. Drag and drop into your viewport. And voila. So now the ground model works. Uh, we need to do the same exact thing uh, we just did for the weapon to the magazine. So let's do that quick. Let's go into uh, the modding folder there. Go into script. The script folder. Um, item entities, items, XMLs, magazine, and there it is, 545. Now, what you need to do is you need to drop it into the right folder, which will be the same exact folder, script, entities, item, XMLs, weapons, not, a, not weapon, sorry, XMLs. As I said, you need to create the folder if it's not there. So, magazines. And then you just drop it there. You want to copy it and rename it so and the lan that's the new one edit the file name should match 
So candy on land. And you want to add the material line again. So material equal copy this path. Right there. And then you want to name it the same name as your uh, material, which was AK74U Magazine Candyland. And you need close it. And there you go. So you save that, go back into editor, entity, uh, reload. 505. I've already done the uh, so I don't need to reload the editor, but you will need to reload the editor for the uh, new item to show. But there it is. So now the next step will be to um, modify the CDF so you can um, so the uh, the proper material is going to show on the weapon that you're holding in your hands. So let's do that quick. All right, now all we need to do is to modify the weapon CDF. So let's go into our um, modding folder, CryEngine, Game SDK, the object pack. Now go to object, weapons, ak 74 u and there it is, the CDF. Let's uh, drop it into the folder. Which is going to be object weapon ak 74 u and you can just drop it right there there we go now what you want to do is you want to duplicate it so copy paste you want to rename it ak 74 u candy lamb there we go and now you want to edit edit the whole thing but right now those files the cdf files are encrypted so you cannot modify them if you try you're just going to get this so in the next update we're going to uh, release those files decrypted but right now you'll have to uh, use Holo Explorer to unencrypt it decrypt it basically so I'm going to leave a like in the description uh, to that program so let's just drag and drop the new CDF right there and drag and drop it into the uh, exe boom now it's giving you a raw file and this raw file you can tweak it now there's two spots where you want to um, modify the material the first one will be on the top there and you want to link to the new material so this is going to apply uh, the new material we created to the first person, not the first person, but to the uh, the model that the player is holding in his hand, so first person and third person. And now we want to um, copy the material line right there and add it right there after the CGF. Boom. So this is uh, the basically the magazine and you want to link the new material that we've created so we need to change the path there i'm just going to use uh this path object magazine uh ak74u copy and i'm going to paste it oh oh, oh my god i'm going to paste it right there and I'm going to uh, enter the right material name which was um, going to go look okay you said before I was AK 74 u magazine can land AK 74 u magazine candy candy land Good. Now that this is done, just save it. You don't need this CDF anymore. 
and you want to just rename the extension to CDF. Yes, and there it is. Now you just need drag and drop back into your folder. And this is ready to go. Now the last step will be to modify the XML, the weapon XML, to a uh, link to the right, um, the right uh, magazine. So you want to navigate to Game is Decay, the script folder, entities, items, XML, weapon, and there is the the new uh, XML that we've created. Let's edit. Now you want to go to that line, the magazine line, and you want to add the new um, the new uh, magazine item file that you've created. Mine, I named it 545x30 candle end. And now you just want to save it. Boom. And now if we go back, we'll need to, um, first we'll need to restart the editor again. So I'm just going to uh, pause the video restart the editor and uh, I'll see you back. All right, now we only need to drop our new uh, items. So AK center for you, let's drop it into the viewport. Now the magazine, 545 Candyland, there it is. Let's jump in game and test it. All right. That seems to work. Let's see in third person. It's working. And let's shoot. There we go. Now you've made yourself a, uh, a nice custom weapon that's working in the game as a new item. The only thing left to do will be to uh, add this weapon to into the spawn table. But that's something that's going to be covered by someone else. So that's all for me. For me, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope everything was uh, helpful for you, and have fun. Bye.